Hello my dear viewers! In this video about seed cycling I will give you another recipe. Seed cycling is eating specific seeds during the main phases of your menstrual cycle, follicular and luteal, to help promote a healthy balance of estrogen and progesterone levels. It is very helpful for irregular periods, missing periods, hormonal imbalance such as PMS symptoms and also post-birth control symptoms like after quitting the pill. Today I will show you a recipe how to make sunflower sesame seed balls. You can eat these balls during the luteal phase of your cycle, day 15 to 28 or from, from full moon to new moon. Here are the ingredients. So we will use one cup of raw sunflower seeds, also one fourth cup of raw sesame seeds, one half cup of toasted coconut flakes, one half teaspoon ground cardamom, one and a half teaspoon ground cinnamon, sea salt, I'm using the nice ones with the rose petals, two teaspoons of lemon zest, one half cup of tahini, one tablespoon melted coconut oil, two tablespoons of something sweet like maple syrup or honey, vanilla extract and rose water. So those are the ingredients and now I will make the balls together with you. So here I start with toasting the coconut flakes first. I do that on a small pan and meanwhile I will blend the, the two main seeds, sunflower and sesame seeds. I use a small blender like for smoothies here, but you can use any blender that you have at home. It's important to blend them freshly. Then I put the blended ingredients into a big bowl. So now I add the roasted toasted coconut flakes and then I will also add the cardamom, here it's a half teaspoon and also the cinnamon, I use one and a half teaspoons and a little bit of sea salt around half teaspoon. What also comes in here is lemon zest and it has to be from an organic lemon because we are using the skin of the lemon so it really has to be organic and uh, it is very very beneficial for your health. Then I'm mixing everything with a wooden spoon, you can also do that in a blender, in a big one if you have it. I'm just doing it like that by hand and now I'm preparing the liquid mass. So I blend some tahini together with coconut oil, it has to be melted and then also I'm adding honey for the sweetness. I'm adding around two tablespoons. It's almost ready. What is still missing or what you can add here for the flavor is some vanilla extract. I add around half teaspoon and also what belongs to this recipe is rose water. It also gives it a very nice flavor. You can use half teaspoon or as you like. That was it for the liquid ingredients. So we blend them until they are nice, nicely spreadable. And after that we will add this part into the dry part and again blend everything and that's basically it. Then the fun part comes, which is the forming of the balls. And I'm using my gloves because it's best to do with the hands. You can make either 12 or 24 
very small balls out of this amount, I prefer making the balls bigger. So if you make 12, it will be one ball per serving. And I'm forming them like that with my hands and when they are ready, I'm dipping them into the sesame seeds so that they look nice. And in the end, when you are ready, you have to put them in the fridge. The best is to put them in the fridge overnight. Then the next morning you can already enjoy one ball together with your morning coffee or tea. By the way, also watch my first video about seed cycling where I'm showing you how to make the pumpkin flex seed balls. Those are for the first part of your cycle. So these here are for the second part of your cycle. So that was it. I hope you liked the recipe. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye bye!